Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here next to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. I've heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. I'm here to learn, detective. Oh, he's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? He's intense. The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory, make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. Who was that, Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective and advice. Are they all dressed like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. And now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Some of you guys may know Phelps. He's the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. If it's all right with That's you, sir. That's an order, Phelps. Ooh. Shh, shh, quiet, everybody. <coughs> Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. Really gave it to those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why are you war heroes always so modest? I partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside now. I'm going to start you out with one case. You do okay, I'll give you a couple more. You screw up, you'll be rousting vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the P.E. Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda, Patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, Phelps. I don't want no part of it. If Captain finds out, we're dead. I didn't come to California to be a secretary. I was door knocking all morning. They really pushed you through quick, didn't they? The car the Six end. years on patrol before I got this desk. You were here in five minutes. What do you want me to say? I didn't ask for any favors. Mary says he'll sing. Only if I guarantee he walks. You know this place? And it's solving all the cases. Sure. Near the old gas works and signal depot in the warehouse district. I'll direct. So, tell me a little about yourself, Phelps. Are we friends now, Mikowski? We have to work together. Don't be so touchy. Grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. Went to college at Stanford. Did two years ROTC before Reno CS at Camp Elliott. Shipped out in early 45 as a first lieutenant. Fought in the Okinawa campaign. I was wounded. Shipped back home. Did a year on the beat. Now I'm here. So you won the Silver Star. I don't want to talk about it. Now let me get this straight. You single-handedly killed 40 Japs on this hill in Okinawa. No, you were up there all night, draped in the flag, knife between your teeth, gun at the ready. Finished? The Emperor Hirohito himself leading the charge against you. I did my part, Bukowski. What did you do? I kept the streets of L.A. safe for the people. Yeah, now I get it. Unfit for service. Now fuck you, Phelps. I earned a bravery citation during the Zuda riots. Sounds like you had it rough. I did my job. No one is saying you didn't. I did six years as a patrolman. That's the third time you've told me. With her hazards. That you, Bukowski? Go on through. Parking lot straight ahead. I need to get back to work, officer. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. 
I did the right thing by calling this in. I'm just a working stick. Just give him your story and you'll be all right. This is your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and we'll see what we can figure out. Thanks, Stefan. You're okay. I'm Officer Hart. Phelps, traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car, probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. What gives with the corner? There's blood all over the interior. Someone's copped the full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. We have an owner for the car? The car is registered to an Adrian Black, just north of Bunker Hill. All right, we'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. Nice day for it. How long you gonna keep me here, sir? I better get back to work, sir. Mr. F. Morgan picked up a live pig yesterday? Check the whole area, detective. Assume everything's a potential lead. Practical joker say it's contaminated soil. My guess, they won't be shit. Thirty-two years old, married. Sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? your times, I guess. Stenzel glasses. Home repaired by the look of it. Brand name might give us something to go on. Via, makes your C double, makes your single. Sir, I'm Detective Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. Mind if I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckoned I'd take a shortcut. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up.
Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. You ever seen the car before? Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars are parked here regularly, so it kind of stood out. The wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? Do you want the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Wilkie? Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was going to steal anything. Maybe I took a look. But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I 